Welcome back guys, Sherry here. Royal Guard Armor, we're gonna get it today, but first let's go over it just a little bit because there may be some confusion with its set bonus. The set bonus when wearing all three pieces, it says charge attack stamina up. However, it does not work like the Barbarian Armor. It is not going to give you attack boost. And if you don't know where to get the Barbarian Armor, I'll leave a link in the description. But what it will do is reduce the amount of stamina that we use when we perform different actions, such as a charge swing. It doesn't use as much stamina. Or if we are climbing and we want to jump, we don't use as much stamina. Or if we are swimming and we were to dash, it doesn't use as much stamina. Okay, so where and how do we get the quest? Well, if we make our way over to Riverside Stable, we just wanna run in and we're gonna see a journal laying on the table. And it's gonna talk about some guards equipment that might be lying around the castle. And it's gonna tell us that we can find some treasure that's near the dining hall, the guards chamber, and on the second floor. And then that is going to give us the Royal Guards Rumors quest. Now I'm going to use Majora's Mask. If you don't know where to get it, I'll leave a link in the description. That way enemies won't really bother me. And I'm also going to use a high level movement speed boost. Now you can make yourself a five minute movement speed boost by using five lotus seeds, or you can make one for 30 minutes by using four lotus seeds and a shard from one of the dragons. Now if you don't know how to farm the dragons, I'll also leave a link in the description. But let's make our way over to the north side of the castle. And we're just gonna jump across over here towards the docks. Now once we get across, our map is going to change. And guys, I'm not real crazy about this map, so I want to try to show you exactly where I am. But here's our current position, and you can just kind of see that we're coming in, I guess, from the back of the castle. But we're just going to jump down and head into the docks. Now there's a guardian on the right-hand side. You can probably just get right past him. Now once we get inside the docks, we're going to see some Lizalfos and some bats and just keep going and just run up the steps. Now once you get to the top of the steps, we're going to have a shrine here. Now you have to activate this shrine to actually get to it. There's a huge torch up here. Just take an arrow, light the torch, and that will activate the shrine. But this is a major test of strength. So if you guys would like to see a little trick on how to defeat those things and take no damage, I'm going to leave a link in the description. But let's just keep going until we get to the top of these steps, and then you're going to see a metal bookshelf. Let's just use our magnesis, and we can just push it out of the way. Now once you make your way inside the library, we're just going to go upstairs. Now you're going to run into some Lizalfos. A couple of them I've already killed. But if you have the Majora's Mask, they shouldn't give you any problems. You should just be able to run right past them. But just keep going, and then we're going to turn left right here, and there's going to be this room that's going to have a great frost blade in it. Let's go through this room, and then let's take a left down the hallway. At the end of the hallway, you're going to see some doors that are cracked open. Now, typically there's a moblin in here, but I have already killed him. But then you're going to see some broken steps. So we just want to shimmy up the wall so that we can get up these steps. Now let's just make our way down the hall and let's take a left and then go all the way to the end. Now I've already bombed through it, but you're going to see a broken wall. Just use your bombs and bomb through it. And this is where we're going to find the Royal Guard uniform. Now this is also where you can get the Royal Guard sword. And here is our location on the map. Now when you're inside the castle, the map is going to be red. When you are outside the castle, it's going to be blue. But let's just turn around and go back out the way that we came and go straight down the hallway to where you can see these two double doors that are cracked and take a right. And then you're gonna see some stairs that go down. Let's go that way. We're gonna come to this room at the bottom of the stairs and it's gonna have an eye. Let's just take care of that. There's also gonna be a moblin in here. But let's just go through the door and back up another flight of stairs and we're going to run into another moblin and another eye so just take care of that 
And now we're gonna make our way outside and we're just gonna jump off of this ledge and go to the right. Now there's gonna be some guardians that may target you, but if you just keep going, you should be able to get past them. And we just want to drop down and run right inside this little door that's located on the right hand side of the waterfall. So if you go past the waterfall, you've gone too far. But now there's gonna be some puddles of water on the floor. If for some reason these gates are closed, just use your cryonis and you can lift the gates up. But then you just want to run up the steps and take a left. You're gonna run into Lazolfo, just keep going past him. And then you're gonna go to your first door on your left. We're gonna go down some stairs and that gets us into the guard's chamber. Just use your magnesis and you should be able to see the chest. Now typically that chest is gonna be up on this ledge, but I pulled it down earlier so it's sitting in the floor. And right here is our location on the map, but this chest is going to give us the Royal Guard boots. Okay, so now let's just go back the way that we came and go up the steps and then we're gonna turn right. And we're gonna see a pressure plate. Now you can use stasis to hold the pressure plate or you could build yourself a fire. Either way, we just wanna hold it down so that we can make it out of this gate. Okay, so now we're just gonna make our way outside. But I find it a lot easier for us to reach the last chest by using the Zora armor. Now you don't have to have all three pieces for this, you just need the armor. But if you'd like to know where to get all three pieces, I'll leave a link in the description. Now we're just gonna take a left and you're gonna see an eye. We want to take care of that, but be careful, there is a guardian on the right hand side. Just try to avoid him. Now just keep going straight until you see this waterfall. Now the current is really strong, so if you can't make it right to the edge of the waterfall to where you're supposed to swim upward, if you do like I did, I accidentally fell down, but it wasn't that big of a deal. We just wanna keep going until we get to the top. And then let's just run across and make it to these other waterfalls. Now there is a sky watcher that might get you right here, guys. So just kind of look and make sure he's not close to you before you jump across to this waterfall. Now when we make it to the last waterfall, you're gonna have a guardian on the right hand side. If you can kinda get on the left hand side of this wall, you can get out of his sight range. And then we can use Ravali's Gale because we're going right above the Sanctum where Ganon is. You can kind of see there's a little Korok here on the left, but we're looking for this door that's just right here down kind of on the right hand side. And just use your Magnesis and you should be able to see the chest glowing. And this is where we're gonna get the Royal Guard's cap. But if you'd like to see where to get the Royal Guard's weapons, click here. And if you enjoy content like this, show me with a like. And if you're new to the channel, I hope you consider subscribing. And for those of you that don't know, if you'll go into your map, you can hit the X button and you can leave the area. Just makes it a lot easier to get out of the castle. But I'll just catch you guys next time.